So I was thinking, Checo Perez couldn't really be the only Mexican driver in the Formula One. And then I started asking for suggestions on what kind of videos to film and I got Hector Rebaque. I was like, who's he? Until I investigated and guys, I have a very special video for you today. Mexican Formula One drivers of all time. Before we start though, I want you to comment down below all of the Mexican Formula 1 drivers of all time that you know. Let's start from the beginning. Before Checo Perez, my friends, there was other 5 Formula 1 drivers and I'm going to list each and every one of them to you right here. The first Formula 1 driver to ever enter this category was Moises Solana. He only lasted 8 Grand Prix and he was also known as a black star of motorsports. Hmm, I wonder what this means. I thought the black star was Pastor Maldonado but uh, maybe he has some Previous competition, wink. Following up, we have the two most popular Formula One drivers, without counting Checo Perez, of course. So we have first, Pedro Rodriguez, who besides Checo Perez is the only Mexican Formula One driver who has ever had a victory in this category. He lasted for 54 Grand Prix. He had two victories and seven podiums until his tragic death in a Formula One practice. Following up, we have Ricardo Rodriguez, who lasted not more than seven Grand Prix, and unfortunately, he also died during Formula One practice. These two brothers are probably the most honorable Mexican Formula One drivers, having baptized the Autódromo Hermanos Rodriguez, which is a Mexican circuit, in their honor. Then we have Héctor Rebaque, who lasted 58 Grand Prix, but a little bit more on him coming in a while. There's some interesting fun facts that we need to know about Héctor Rebaque. Van Gutierrez, my personal paisano since we're both from the same city, lasted 27 Grand Prix and he is currently, if I'm not mistaken, the Mercedes reserved driver as he as well at the moment is doing a lot of digital content with Mercedes. And last but not least, our beloved Checo Perez who has been in 193 starting Grand Prix, 196 in total, but by this moment I believe the number just went one up to 194 and 197. He currently has one victory and nine podiums. He is currently in the Formula 1 still driving for a Red Bull racing team. And drum roll please. Yes, I have to do the drum roll because no matter how hard I try, no audio library gives me drum rolls. Come on, YouTube, it's about time. We have Pato Award, up and coming Formula One driver. He is currently a driver for Indy Car Series, but he scored testing with McLaren at the end of the season in Abu Dhabi. Oh, yes we might be having another Mexican Formula One driver very soon. All due time. We would have to see him in the testing and see if he can actually become part of this category. He is also from the same city I am, so of course I'm rooting for him. Okay, so going back to Hector Rebaque, because before Checo Perez we had Hector Rebaque and others. Anyway, this video is about the Mexican Formula One drivers of all time. His debut was actually on the 5th of June, 1977. He is still alive, very much alive, and he has an interesting story actually. He started driving, as all the drivers, in other categories until eventually he moved up to the Formula One. He got no more than 13 points in the whole category. Blum, blum, blum. Oh well, <laughs> at least he was in the category. When he debuted in the Formula One, he actually did this with Hesketh Racing Team. That was until he decided to found his own team, Team Rebaque. Is that still possible? Like, do people still do that? You know, found their own teams and have them under their own names? Isn't that epic? I mean, that's cooler than like, well, I don't know if it's cooler than winning, but it's pretty epic. I mean, and not only that, they even designed their own car. Rebaque HR100. Eventually, he ended up switching to the Brabham team because he was replacing one of the drivers for a few races, but this actually cost him to finish his season with the Brabham team. He ended up retiring from the Formula One in 1983, and the highest position he ever achieved was fourth place. So there you have it. The driver before Checo Perez, and maybe the driver after Checo Perez? Who knows? 
It would be amazing if you asked me to have them both at the same time competing. Chico Perez and Pato Award, you know, there's like five British at the same time, like two or three Spaniards, two or three French, but there's never been two Mexican. Oh no, wait, there was. Esteban Gutierrez and Chico Perez. But anyway, it's time for other two Mexicans to share this category at the same time. And what a better way for Pato Award to start than in McLaren, just like Chico Perez did. One of his first teams was actually McLaren with Jenson Guto. <laughs> So, Jensen is one of my favorites, yes. Anyway, guys, if you liked this video, don't forget to comment down below, like or subscribe to my channel, and I would also like you to comment down below what kind of video you would like for me to film next. Thank you guys so much for watching, and see you again next week on another episode of A Girl Talks Formula One.